Hello all. In today's video, we are going to focus on the e-commerce doping in software testing or as a software testing tester, how we are going to test the e-commerce website or what is the project flow of e-commerce. So firstly, you have to understand what is mean by e-commerce. The name itself suggests that e-commerce means electronic commerce where we are buying or selling the goods, services or product by using internet and once we transfer the money or make a payment this transaction get completed some examples of e-commerce website are like amazon flipkart big bazaar make my trip or olx these are some examples of e-commerce website so first we have to focus on what are the different types of e-commerce so there are five different types of e-commerce so first type is a business to business second is business to consumer third is consumer to consumer fourth is consumer to business and consumer to administrator so firstly we focus on what is mean by business to business so the business to business the name itself suggests that where one business is selling their product or services to another business so this business to business transaction is done between two different companies where one is a wholesaler or we can say another is a retailer so we can take an, a same a simple example if one company is producing some raw material and which is useful for another company for further manufacturing so this is a business to business model for example my company is producing we can say uh, my company is uh, making some uh, wheels okay and for that particular wheels i need some rubber so one company is providing a raw material to me this model is known as a business to business so uh, for example of business to business model is salesforce or sap these are the some website uh, these are the some uh, examples of b2b model next is the business to consumer that is b2c what is mean by b2c the b2c means it is a direct consumer is comes into the picture means here it is a straightforward we can say it is like a retail market market or website or app where uh, the business is directly selling their product to a consumer or customer so this b2c model where business sells a product or services to another to consumers right so this b2c model is for example website where all transactions takes place between the business organization and consumer so here for example online stores where they will provide a different multiple list of product and which are directly accessible by customer they can pick or choose their product and by by listing the product or by selecting their product as per the need this is nothing but a b2c third is a c2c that is consumer to consumer so consumer to consumer means it is a we can say it's a model where one consumer is directly interacting with the another consumer so here they can buy or sell the product with each other by using online platform so for example the by using third party website for example olx or quicker where uh, for example on olx i am sell, uh, selling my product to another consumer by using this particular third party website that is olx or one uh, another example like 99 acres magic bricks are the some examples of c2c model then the next is a consumer to business that is c2b so what is mean by c2b c2b business allows individual to sell a goods and services to companies so this model allow a business to receive a value from consumer or the customer so this c2b c2b model uh, we, uh, i will give you some example like c2b model where we can say individual or any person can sell their product or entrepreneur can sell the product or services to business for example the writers or the artist or uh, ui or ux designer or we can say freelancers are some examples of this particular c2b model then the last model is a consumer to administrator so what is mean by consumer to administrator model 
the C to A business model where transactions done between the administrative body like government, schools or hospitals you can say. So uh, for example, the consumer will have uh, maybe anything. For example, the e-voting or we can say the fee payment is done or e-health or so some we can say the government sites or the administrator where we are interacting with that particular project to do our task right for example the tax we have to as a consumer i have to pay tax to a government right so this is nothing but a c2 this is example of c2 a model then we'll focus on the what type of testing will be done on the e-commerce website or we can say e-commerce software so uh, basically uh, so before moving to the types of testing uh, this consumer to administrator c2a model uh, we will uh, it it also include the government to consumer like uh, uh, and gover uh, government to business so basically uh, as a consumer we are interacting or uh, we are Pro providing a tax or we are submitting a task uh, uh, tax or we are taking the subsidies from the government so this all other businesses comes under this consumer to administrator then the next is uh, what is meant by types of uh, what are the different types of testing which is done for the uh, particular e-commerce website or e-commerce project so uh, for example amazon website or flipkart website or any any other website uh, or app you you are using like mintra okay so here the different types of testing like functional testing usability testing security testing performance testing database testing mobile application testing and or a uh, a or b testing is done so i will take an example of mintra okay so uh, where fu in functional testing what happen we'll check the functionality of whole website okay and in usability what we are uh, testing we are checking the look and feel how it is usable is it easy to use in security testing we are checking while making online payment is it secure or whatever will be the data we are providing like our address is it secure in performance testing we are checking while uh, selecting any product or adding it into the cart or selecting it or buying it how much time it is taking in database testing we are checking how it, it is storing the data in mobile application testing we are checking how its app is working or how this particular software is uh, usable on the particular smartphone and in a or uh, a or b testing we are checking the particular application or website with its older version or we are comparing the versions of the same software or application and we are checking which one is a better so these are all types of testing which are basically done on the e-commerce e-commerce domain or e-commerce testing right so uh, the next main point we have to focus is on e-commerce testing element means by considering one particular application or we can say website what testing what are the different testing element we'll continue with the same example of mintra website okay so as a home page design i also in uh, if I will consider the example of Mintra site. Okay, so first I am going to check the home page, right? So in home page, I'm what I am going to check. So in home page, is it easy to log in? Okay, so uh, is, is all things are appearing on the home page? It uh, it is providing support to select some items can uh, all contents are visible uh, is it easily accessible on the different different browsers am i able to scroll up and scroll down am i able to click on the items am i able to sell the one particular product am i able to uh, scroll down or we can say uh, is cart option or all the things are available on the home page so these all things or is it providing some standard features or means for example as all all websites or all e-commerce websites are showing the login button over there or add to cart items over there so uh, or profile picture will be there so all these details are there in the that particular application or project i am going to check under this particular home page design feature the next is the search so in search what i am going to check 
in search based product means am i able to search the particular product by typing the name what kind of algorithm they are using am i able to navigate from one product to another product and if i am uh, typing something so is it providing some suggestions for same so all these thing i am going to check under the search element then product detail page for example i have uh, selected one particular uh, uh, we can say trouser so when once i click on the trouser so is it providing me the details for that particular trouser means of which company how much price how much uh, discount will be there what will be the size is it providing some other suggestions so all these details i am going to check under this particular element then shopping cart if i have selected that particular trouser so is it added into the shopping cart is it providing uh, is it asking me for the next process that is enter your address or uh, is it providing the some details so i am going to check under this then the next is a payment so what happens in payment once i select that particular product am i able to pay the money or is it providing some options like pay through credit card or emi net banking debit card uh, is it providing a cash on delivery option if i don't have any other option is there any other process will be there so different checking or the user sign up i am going to check under the payment then the site performance uh, across the different devices means how this particular site is act, uh, uh, is processing on the laptop and how it is performing on the mobile phone then the recommended product if i am selecting the trouser of any uh, for example zara then is it providing a recommended pro uh, product then uh, once i once i proceed with the pay, uh, payment or if i have uh, purchased one particular product and if i want to return that how your website will be supporting for the same and the extra features like login some you know, for, uh, faqs will be there am i going to look to the reviews for the of customer so all these details i am going to check in this particular e-commerce testing so some common bugs found in the e-commerce domain testing are like browser compatibility pro problem means uh, one application is app uh, is opening easily in the chrome but it is uh, giving problem in the age like that then the broken link some product is not available once i click on the product and the link is broken so i am not able to view that detail then inconsistency in catalog shopping cart issues and checkout uh, uh, checkout bugs these are the some bugs we can say uh, or these are the some common problem arises so while testing the e-commerce website or e-commerce testing so these are the some basic knowledge regarding e-commerce uh, so uh, i request you all please check out all other videos of our channel and if uh, uh, if you want a next video on test cases of e-commerce website and the question answers for interview regarding e-commerce domain testing please do comment and thank you all